We are recording. <laughs> okay. Stop, stop picking your noses, people. <laughs> we have some snow, so right now we have like I have the perfect photographing light, like everything is diffused and fuzzy and and all that. Hello, people. How's it going? <laughs> Welcome Greetings, to the show. This <laughs> this is our very groggy February writing corner chat thing. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and as you can tell, we are off to a good start. <laughs> it's been it's been busy at the mm -hmm. Chaos Nova HQ. We've been doing a lot of odd yep. things. Yep. Um, we're still okay. Forum leakage that's the thing we worked on most recently. Mm -hmm. That was yesterday, day before, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Um, progress is good, I think. I think I, we've covered a lot yeah. considering our mental capacity recently. <laughs> uh, it's not really, it's not really a whole lot to talk about. I mean, if you want to check out the forum leakage project, we plug this every every time we do one of these videos. But it is available on the website, the new and shiny website. That if that's another thing that we've been doing. Yes, new and shiny website. Let me put it up in the. And it's awesome, and it's all very shiny. Shiny is the perfect word to describe the new <laughs> website. Shiny! <laughs> You're gonna run them through it. Yes, so this is our... We haven't actually presented it in the video, so this is a perfect opportunity. Also, can I get the hair out of my face, please? Yes. So, this is our website. It has all the... I will, I will do a side-by-side -side comparison with the old one. Ooh. Because the uh, uh, dev address still links to the old one. So I can I can actually show. This would be a good comparison, actually. <laughs> so this is what the old, new, old website looked like. The idea was to have a sort of sci-fi theme, but... Uh, but I think it, it was a case of uh, uh, tweaking a lot of things, but never sort of starting <coughs> starting from the foundation. So we we kept posting here, but uh, recently we realized that the site where we uh, rent our server server space has uh, the maker tools as well. So I just I grabbed some templates and. Uh, and then, of course, Im immediately changed them. <laughs> 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 so, this is the new website. Uh, the header has some do that image behind it, but basically, the the content is actually rather similar to the old one, but it is organized in such a way that you can find it now. And I populated the first page with uh, also with the social media feeds we now actually have a page that features our books which is nice all two of them <laughs> <laughs> but at least there is there's like a coherent uh, description now and all the links in one place so when when somebody needs a quick reference, we can immediately, bam, give them this link instead of uh, scrambling to get together the uh, previews and whatever. Then, uh, again, I'm going to make a comparison. So, in the old one, we had crew and contacts. Beep, boop. In the new one, we also have the crew. This reminds me I need to contact uh, the designer with whom I've done some 
uh, skill bartering. Uh, hmm. I, I wrote her, I wrote her some descriptions for her website, and uh, the deal was that uh, she's gonna do uh, portrait stylization for hours, and uh, I, I have to write her and send her the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we we have the crew members. And then, in the same page, I have also added other relevant information. What is Smith & Chaos? What is Troubled Core? Who are trusted readers? And also, uh, we've linked the GameZ contacts here. And now, the interesting part in the old ones, we had things as reading samples, a separate tab, and in the home tab, we we posted the news, and these news are being pulled from a WordPress site, which uh, which is still up. So the the WordPress news feed will will work as a backup. If something goes wrong with the with the new site, but meanwhile in the new site there is a section. There's a blog section. <laughs> and in the blog section, I have. Uh, I have pulled all the old WordPress posts and duplicated them here together with shiny pictures <laughs> and uh, at the moment there are 10 tags I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep the tag count down because otherwise I don't know how well the page will look <laughs> <laughs> this 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 thing can't be more than ten words because design. <laughs> <laughs> so, for example, here is the post that uh, covers our outpost in outpost in the woods, yo. <laughs> so this uh, this blog format allows to. Uh, allows to easily insert pictures and videos. So when in uh, in the WordPress we would have to uh, copy paste uh, HTML code, then in here it has very simple user tools. Sometimes too simple. Sometimes <laughs> I would like to, let's say, I would like to embed a playlist, but no, you can only add video. So it is, it is, it is. A, it's a lot more foolproof. Than the than the new one uh, than the old one, or than the WordPress uh, one. Uh, so the the log section has like all the post news as well as uh, stories. And if I look in the tags, story time. So under the story time tag, there are all the all the story posts and samples and and everything and this post here let's put this away now this post here the forum leakage project new experimental reading samples so this this is one of our current work things that we work on where we are taking Posts from the forum. Let's, let's see. Posts from the forum means that we are. Oh, I I can see one thing to change immediately. The forum link does not open in a new tab. Easy there, easy there. I must have forgotten to put the tick in the right box. Yeah. Okay. So one of the links works as uh, as intended, one of them doesn't. So forum leakage. We are taking the posts from this forum. 
I'm showing it on the screen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can imagine, you can see yeah. <laughs> the interface in your head, so I don't have to share my screen to you. We are taking posts from this forum. Uh, right now I'm not logged in, so I, I can't show where. Let's log in. You're in guest mode. Yep. Which isn't completely barren, so if you are interested in checking out the mm -hmm. forum but you don't want to make an account, that is, there's still a lot of information on there, mm -hmm. like announcements and and other bits. Like read, there's, I think the reading samples are on there as well. Uh, yes. Uh, so preview excerpts is where you can find the same posts that we are posting in the in the website. So leaks from the forums. Deja vu. But uh, the forum league project itself means that we are taking posts from here. These are story roleplay story threads that uh, we have done a few years prior. Some of these are from behind, uh, from before the times I joined. But this particular post that we're working on now is. Uh, is from my time. So this is the this is the story thread that we are currently working on. Some of the posts can be lifted pretty directly, but some because we are so involved in the in making them, some we are greatly <laughs> remixing. <laughs> 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 so ideally it should only be a matter of pick and choose and present but uh, we we have gone a little bit deeper than we initially intended yeah so right now so this is page one this uh, thread was three pages all together we have posted this we have Posted. I think we're through with the whole first page. And like, I think one page is like twenty posts. I can't remember. It's either twenty or twenty-five. I oh, can't really. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So page one is uh, how the guys uh, leave Tucker Nine. How they crash on uh, <laughs> what was it? Archaeos Four. Yeah. Uh, when uh, Smith uh, officially joins the party before she was uh, she was there but the others didn't know and we are about to get to the part where uh, one of one of our GM's characters is starting to give exposition about uh, about the situation where our characters are in It's coming along nicely. Yeah, so I would say we are about halfway halfway through with this uh, post. I mean, with 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 this thread, and uh, as we as we move along through this post, it's getting easier to decide what to leave out. But also, the posts themselves are getting more coherent because we uh, there there was there was some uh, world building and making stuff up in the process. And in the later posts, some of some of that stuff we ha we have sort of established a common understanding of it. So, mm -hmm. uh, if early on in this thread there are posts that greatly contradict each other, and that uh, are littered with notes like "Oh, we shall we shall fix that later," or "We will we will need to edit that in," or something, then some of the uh, some of the latter posts are are definitely more in line with each other. Yes, so this is the forum leakage project, and the last post that uh, the latest post that is up is part ten, I think. Yay! Part, part nine. Oh, part nine. I thought. No, we did part nine before Christmas. I thought. <coughs> Should be part ten when they're unloading all the stuff. Took a long, thoughtful talk. 
a recap of what the fuck just happened. Anyone? <laughs> and what does it end with? Taniki put a hand on his shoulder. It's all right. We were just briefed, remember? Right. Everybody follow engineer <laughs> Kalyavi. <laughs> to himself, Corey mumbled. That went well. And indeed, we finished one post after that. We... Uh, the one where they are already in the ship and uh, the... Da -da -da. Is it on the WordPress? Did I post it to the WordPress? Let me have a look. Uh, it could da -da -da. be... Yeah, it could be that I that I postponed posting it here bef uh, because I still have to insert... Yeah, it is in WordPress. Links <laughs> from the forum, stage every part 10. Alright, cool. So it's just a case of uh, S. You wanted to do some other stuff before posting. Yeah, I think the... I wanted to add the December posts in here before. So basically, it's just uh, my schedule is a little bit behind right now. Or another option is that I have not tagged it correctly, and it is actually in here already. It's hiding. Project update one. Ah, no. Yeah, no. It's it's not here yet. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> good thing we call that. <laughs> yeah, because I I would have totally forgotten. At some point I would have noticed, but but there's that. So much about the forum leakage. <laughs> yeah. It's been good. the uh, the further we get into it, the more the more like. Uh, cringy it's getting <laughs> I thought there was a point where I thought it was super cringy and cringy worse and then it got worse so that was yes tell us about uh, the cringe factor oh okay <clears throat> so when 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 you when law first joined the forum um, I, I one of my or well, a lot of my characters were doing this quite annoying thing where they try to include you in everything and mm. you know try to oh look new new person let's Let's bring them into the story and yeah, and, make and, it. and this this was super oh, awkward because the um, trying to write someone else's character into the story usually means that you are making assumptions about them that they themselves definitely uh, probably don't uh, don't agree with. Uh, rest rest easy. A little bit of awkward is nothing. Uh, uh, is nothing compared to some full-on character violation, which I, uh, which I experienced in a role-play thread in the old stalker forums. Oh, story time! <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there is uh, th there are some off-topic threads there that uh, that ran sort of like uh, not quite full-on. Uh, role play, but people would often write in character. But uh, the the line between the person and the character wasn't always necessarily very clear. So you you would you know you you would make a joke post in character, but actually you would just say what you wanted to say in person, and you would make long uh, in character posts where you were actually. Uh, basically poured your genuine emotions in there and all that but because it was in no way curated or like there there wasn't any organized role play people weren't at all in the same page about uh, where the boundaries are and uh, frankly some people would have not cared about it anyway <laughs> and uh, and uh, there were some people who had it in their head that they are the guardians of that thread and that they had still have some uh, self-importance about it and I have since uh, I have since left those forums behind and I will never ever want anything to do with those people ever <laughs> <laughs> for the record <laughs> but 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 yeah at the time uh, at the time I was on friendly terms with some of them and until I didn't know them very well, uh, uh, it's like, it's one of the situations where it takes getting to know somebody really well 
to realize that oh my god i don't want anything to do with this person <laughs> <laughs> and uh and some of them would uh habitually break the very first rule of role play you can only describe what you're doing you can't really uh you cannot control somebody else's character you cannot uh you cannot uh, impose action upon somebody else mm. and uh and there there were some in character posts where somebody basically knocked my character out and then somebody else picked them up and and basically they i had no control over it and i i tried to sort of make a good face about it but actually i was devastated like how how the fuck do you do something like that like yeah. that's so even so inappropriate <laughs> It's 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 mind blowing in inappropriate, and yet I didn't immediately call them out on it. But I but the relationship started to de deteriorate from there, and I started noticing all sorts of uh, other inappropriate uh, uh, I don't know communication stuff and and all that. So I I think uh, those instances uh, would trigger the cascade that uh, that eventually made me say wait what am i doing here why am i doing this to myself F fuck it yeah. <laughs> so long story short compared to all that having a little awkwardness of trying to include <laughs> another character is fine <laughs> it's awkward but it's fine <laughs> we uh, the in the original forums, I think that was a problem we had at AJJE. Was a lot of the the people. Uh, I don't think it was the same, but a lot of people who who you'd assume were in charge mm. or sort of took a controlling role, they they would think they had authority over your character and could control your character yep, in certain yep. ways. I I think and, it's I think it's the same thing. And I think that was one of the triggering factors that made me and Keo leave. The very, very, very first that where we met, we left there, and I think that was one of the reasons. I think disagreements with people and stuff like that. I mean, ultimately it led to chaos Nova, so I'm not complaining. I, that was one of the best things that's ever happened, basically. Um, but I think we learned early on, and I think this is an important thing. Whenever we are role playing, we haven't role played on the forum in a long time now, but we we give permission to one another. Mm -hmm. Like if the, if yeah. there's a for example, if Rue is doing something and Nux is on the scene, but I, I and but he's got his own ideas, I'm quite happy for him to use Nux. Like I, I openly mm -hmm. give him permission. And uh, but in other occasions, like people, people don't take Corey, for example. I don't think I've ever given permission for Corey. I don't think I ever, I ever would. But he, um, yeah, it, it, it's just respect, isn't it? You don't really want to. Yeah, it's it's like. In in a way, the way you interact with somebody else's character in a role play is uh, is an indication, at least, uh, how you would interact with with real people out in the world. Uh. And if you do something, so let's 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 say you overstep something, you you breach a boundary, and the other person tells you, uh, what you did there was not okay." And then the other's like, oh, uh, but I, I didn't mean anything by it. And then you, you tell them, yeah, okay, I get that you didn't mean anything. But what you did uh, had a huge impact on me. And I want to, uh, let's say, I, I want to publicly be acknowledged that this is a huge deal and this was wrong and I'm not okay with this and they uh, or at least you want to t you want to explain to them why this was not okay to you and why it's important and they will shrug off and say oh I'm al I have already put this matter past me then it's like uh, uh fuck you man <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah that's not cool uh, yeah but uh I think uh, in our story threads what we have managed is like let, let's say I have an idea uh, involving uh, my character and somebody else's character then we sort it out privately beforehand like okay I, I, let, let me run this, this uh, by you let's see if this is fine with you 
Uh, and and actually we were able to orchestrate certain uh, plot points this way uh, by uh, by having direct messaging uh, before the post happened the the other nice thing is before seeker jewel was i'm going to call jewel like a half character like mm -hmm. i'd half fleshed out jewel mm -hmm. and then we started working together on seeker and she became a much more believable, much more interesting character. And I don't want to say owned, or but she part she's like half half between us now. Like she's mm. both our character sort of thing. So when it comes to writing certain stories, I think the this is a bad example because we didn't really go anywhere with it. But when we were when it was Jewel and Rue, uh, Jewel and Tahu on that ship together. Um, we worked really well writing mm -hmm. George's part for that, I thought. So it's it's nice. I like the, the flow of development and things mm -hmm. like that. So, yeah. Uh, it's just nice how things have worked mm -hmm. out. Returning to the cringe factor for a second. If, <laughs> uh, if, we, leave, uh, if we leave the uh, personal and character interactions, uh, tell me about the, the cringe factor regarding writing skills. Oh man, I've, I've, oh, it's, this is difficult. The, we've come such a long way now uh, that looking back on the old stuff and, and reading it, it's just like, oh, oh, it hurts. So, um, I can't really explain it. It's just you, you can see, you can see where I don't know. You can, you can see where. You didn't. I I didn't really think about what I was typing. I just wanted to move the story on in some places, and mm. you can see where it's all rushed and it's not really considered or thought out or any of that. See, my thing is, I'm always trying to when the forum is active, mm -hmm. I'm always trying to bring it back to the golden era mm -hmm. of when, and we're talking like I think early 2000s at this point, mm -hmm. when me, Keo, and a couple of other people like boats, we'd write a post. And then we'd message one another and say, right, I've posted. And then that, that same night, two more posts would go up from the other people. And then you'd probably get a full post in that night. Do you know what I mean? And I'm always, when the forum's at full tilt, I'm always trying to bring it back to that. And that's not a good thing to do. Like, mm -hmm. You shouldn't be chasing glory days or any of that shit. Um, so you can sometimes see that in the post I've written. And But actually, can I just say, the fact that Corey is so goddamn annoying and actually so cringe where i didn't realize the first time i was writing it that Corey was doing this whole i'm in charge i'm commandery i'm leading this team i am the best woo woo check me out i didn't realize that was his thing but as we've come back and sort of read through them that's become a key character thing mm -hmm. like so it's it again it's developed into something quite amazing and i actually really all right, Corey annoys the fuck out of me now. I'm not going to make any bones bad. <laughs> Corey is so irritating in his current... Like, I am... But now you can own it. it. Yeah, that's the thing, yeah. So we've acknowledged it and we're going to we're gonna make it a thing. <laughs> like, is, I, And I think it's great. So uh, there is good stuff to come out of the cringe. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Well, it's a stepping stone. But I'm... Um, I, yeah... I, I, I don't know if you've got anything else to add to that. But I'm going to start rambling <laughs> if I keep going on with this. Mm, I think I think not. So yeah, this is <laughs> basically the, the, the forum leakage project. On one hand, it allows us these introspections into the past. At the same time, it provides us. It provides us. Uh, it provides us uh, with the uh, first draft material that's already there. Like we d we don't have to worry about uh, the story being there, but because it is, even if we actually end up altering something. So we we have we have solid uh, pieces of material that we can work on. We we have analysis material. We have we can gaze. Upon our own past writing experience, 
and uh, it gives us a uh, uh, it gives us the uh, mm, regular practice material as well as we as we work on them and at the same time th this is we have we have already discussed that we we have material to work on and at the same time the stakes aren't uh, incredibly high like it's yeah. not like we are uh, we are pitching the material for uh, uh, for an, for a publisher or anything we are simply creating regular output uh, with uh, so so quality as a as a practice and as a sort of uh, keeping the work going thing. So yes, uh, getting Check. it to the point where it's sort of safe for human consumption, basically something we'd be yeah. okay with sharing. Yeah. So if you go to Chaos Nova Co UK, click logs. And uh, and if you don't want to see any other posts, then go to the tags and click story time. The uh, the titles are also marked with uh, the story time tag. Uh, then you will find all these uh, fine specimen <laughs> lined up, <laughs> and among them you will find other story samples as well or or reading samples. So there is that. For example, the rise and the fall of Superbus Mark <laughs> One is here. Then That's got a few cringy moments in it, <laughs> but it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> yes, uh, there are there are also oh uh, I just saw one very curious reading sample that I would also like to point out. There is sample chapter chapter two of Seeker, and this is not the same chapter 2 that is in the current book but this is an older version uh, I think the plot points are essentially the same uh, some of the text is still the same but uh, we have uh, reworked it since so this is a thing Also, my very own uh, space junk. This was my first post in the Deja Vu uh, story thread. I might add. So a little bit, uh, a little bit cleaned up, but otherwise pretty much uh, unchanged uh, from the forum post. Recommend. Good um, times. Good times, and also the the most important of them all the one that uh, the the spawning moment the beginning inception picking up trash this post oh. is also here in the story time so good <laughs> <laughs> so i think maybe let's let's wrap up this episode and start another one for the other discussions yep. story time shiny new website it's find amazing us. yeah find us read us cringe with us <laughs> <laughs> yes there will be cringing yes bye bye